Come on, let's go. It's summer school time. Good morning and happy Sabbath, boys and girls. I am just so delighted that um, you're here to worship with us today. Now, there's no more rain at this time. We have sunshine and that is the one thing I am most grateful for. Now, we need the rain, yes, but it's something about the sunshine. And now everything is looking well watered, um, they're flourishing, and it's nice and green outside. I know all the beautiful flowers and fruits are all going to come alive. Now, let us go on with our program. And hey, don't forget to call your friends and your grandma and your grandpas, your aunties, your uncles, your cousins. Call everyone let them know that you're watching the program at this time. And don't forget to share with the link with them. At this time, we're going to have our welcome. And the welcome will be done by... Zalia, Zalia Edwards and she attends the Portmore Seventh-day Adventist Church and we'll have the opening prayer and that will be done by Avir Johnson who attends the Portmore Seventh-day Adventist Church. Good morning. Welcome to South School. Let us pray. Dear Lord, I just want to welcome your presence in this online worship. Even though we're not together, I know that you see us, all of us, dear Lord. I just want you to grant us a wonderful day and grant everyone watching a beautiful Sabbath. In your name I pray. Amen. Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to What's Inside Aunt Simone's Fruit and Vegetable Basket. Now, boys and girls, I don't have anything new for you this week, but let's look at what I had last week. Now, I did show you two kinds of bananas. Yes, you guessed it right, two kinds of bananas. Now, the first one looks more like a short, stubby um, plantain, and that's what we call here the frog banana. Yes, short. has a funny taste to me, but um, it tastes more like a plantain, um, mixed with a banana taste. I don't even know how else to say it. And then the next banana that you will see is a, even a shorter one. And we call those um, apple bananas or we also call them the bumpy bananas. And they're so sweet and a little, little tangy, but those are my favorite, my all-time favorite. Did you know that there were, I believe, a 1,000 species of bananas? Yes! Lots of bananas that you have to learn about. Well, boys and girls, look forward to seeing you next Sabbath. And we'll see what happens next Sabbath. Bye. Have a wonderful day. Yes, yes, yes. It's that time. Sing a long time. And I am super excited to share all the new songs, all the new participants who will be singing and sharing their talent with us. At this time, we're going to have song number one, and song number one will be done by Kajani Myri, and he attends the Rose Hall Seventh-day Adventist Church. Happy Sabbath, everyone. My name is Kajani Myri, and I attend the Rose Hall Seventh-day Adventist Church. I will be singing a song for you. I hope your hearts are blessed. Here before your throne, I will worship you and worship you alone. Here within my soul, 
the sun begins to rise and then it overflows you are holy you are holy i will lift my eyes to you singing with the angels you are holy you are holy i will lift my eyes to you singing with the angels too when your love breaks through and i am swept away by the glimpse of you when you made me new till i am nothing less what i will find in you you are holy you are holy i will lift my eyes to you singing with the angels you are holy you are holy i will lift my eyes to you singing with the angels too unto the one who sits on the throne and all through the land be all the one who glory and power and praise oh unto the throne sits on the throne and all through the land be the one the glory and power and praise all creation be and the heaven and earth will be known you are holy you are holy i will lift my eyes to you singing with the angels you are holy you are holy i will lift my eyes to you singing with the angels too boys and girls let me tell you our boys are really really coming out in their numbers this sabbath and i am just so happy yes we usually have boys and girls a lot but today we have a lot of our boys and that is wonderful news song number two oh boy will be coming from a group of young boys and their name of the group is the faithful brothers Yes, the Faithful Brothers. And this group includes Andre Reed, Ricardo Pinnock, Jaqueen Pinnock, and Rajani Pinnock. Yes, please forgive me if Aunt Simone messed up your names, but I did my best. And they attend the Chateau SDA Church. Please listen up. Build an ark, head for the open waters. Save your sons and your daughters. Build an ark. We've got to build an ark. When the storm is ended, you know the world's been mended. Build an ark. I'm tired of all the feelings. Tired of all the killing. Tired of the men who make the laws and break up any time they please. I'm tired of all the big lies. So where are all the good guys? Sometimes I swear I feel the way that Noah did when the Lord commanded Build an ark, head for the open waters Save your sons and your daughters Build an ark, we've got to build an ark When the storm is ended You know the world's been mended Build an ark My father and my mother my sisters and my brothers, all the friends that I care about and the women that I've learned to love. I gather them together, promise them forever, we'll be saved from the world around us. All we got to do is to love each other. Build an ark, head for the open waters, save your sons and your daughters. Build an ark, we've got to build an ark.
to this group over and over again? That's a hint. All right. Now, our next song is coming to us from Nathaniel Laws. We heard Nathaniel and his sister on the program before, and Nathaniel will be singing his song for us today. And he's coming from the Sablamar SDA Church. so hard but I just can't change myself that's why I know I need your help oh so here I am this is my plea my only hope is your love for me I'm reaching now so desperately come take my hand take hold of me just as i am oh lord who makes what's broken you so why can't i just learn to follow you oh i want to know you to feel you in myself Surrender all control. So here I am. This is my plea. My only hope is your love for me. I'm reaching out so desperately. Come take my hand. Take all of me. I'm not afraid to follow you where you lead me. I can leave the past behind me. I'm forgiven and I'm free. So here I am. Oh, my only hope is a love for me. enjoyed it too yes the songs were just yeah they were they were well done and thank God that we have so much talent in our churches boy boys and girls you are making us proud and we love that others are hearing your song and you're witnessing for Jesus now at this time we're going to go into our lesson study part of the program First, we'll have our kindergarten video lesson and then our primary uh, primary video lesson. And that will be done by none other than Auntie Frenita Buddy Fullwood. Hello, boys and girls. This is Aunt Frenita, and I have a wonderful story for you called Young Man, Get Up. Today's memory verse is from Luke chapter 7 verse 16 it says God has come to help his people the message for today's story is we serve God when we help people who are sad have you ever felt sad about something so sad that you cried about it well that's how the mother in our story today felt Jesus walked from town to town telling people about God and healing the sick his disciples followed him everywhere he went and other people wanted to hear and see what Jesus was doing too. So a large crowd followed him from place to place. One day Jesus came upon a town called Nain. In those days the towns had walls around them with gates to let people in and out. As Jesus walked toward the town gate, he saw people carrying a coffin. A young man had died and was to be buried in the cemetery outside of town. His mother and a large crowd followed. 
Jesus could hear the young man's mother cry, and the crowd of crying people too. The mother was a widow, and that means that her husband had died. And now her only son had died too. Jesus immediately knew why she was sad. Her husband and her son had died, and now she was all alone. She had no one to help her, no one to earn money for food, no one to help her when she was sick, and no one to comfort her, to take care of her when she became old. Well, Jesus felt sorry for this mother, and he wanted to do something to help her. Quietly, he walked over to the woman. When the people saw him, everyone stood still. They stopped crying. Then they gathered around Jesus and the weeping mother. What would Jesus do, they wondered. What could he do? Jesus smiled at the woman and gently said, Don't cry. Then he touched the coffin. When the people saw him do that, they all stared at him. What would Jesus do next? Then Jesus spoke. Young man, I say to you, get up. The people must have been surprised to hear Jesus say that. Everyone knew that the young man was dead, and dead people don't get up. But when Jesus spoke, the young man sat up and began talking. Jesus gave him to his mother. Was she happy? Well, of course she was. She stopped crying and began praising God. The people were amazed. They were seeing a miracle. Their mouths must have fallen open in surprise. God has come to help his people, they shouted. And soon everyone returned to the city joyful and happy because of his love. God's care is so wonderful, and he asks us to help sad people too. When we see someone who is sick, or scared, or lonely, Jesus wants us to say kind words and listen to them, to comfort them. We can love them as Jesus does, and when we do, we are doing it for Jesus. This podcast was brought to you by gracelink.net and Studio El Piso. For more children's resources, please visit gracelink.net. Hi everyone, it's Aunt Frenita. Today's story is called Together Again. The message is from Galatians chapter 6, verse 10. It says, Let us do good to all people, especially to those who belong to the family of believers. Today's message is God helps me serve my family. When his parents were sick, Ethan stepped up and took care of his little brother so his parents could rest a while. Ethan served meals to his little brother and helped him clean up. Do you help to serve others in your family? Today's story is about what Joseph did for his family. After being away for many years, Father Jacob had returned to Canaan with his wives and twelve sons. Joseph was the second youngest and his father's favorite. Because of this, his older brothers hated him and decided to sell him to slave traders going to Egypt. In Egypt, Joseph had remained faithful to God even when bad things had happened to him. Eventually, God had helped him to become the governor. When a famine came on all the land, Jacob sent his ten sons to Egypt for food. Joseph was in charge of the food, but Joseph's brothers did not know who he was. Yet Joseph knew them and finally made himself known. He told them that he had forgiven them for selling him into slavery. He promised to take care of the entire family and now the brothers were on their way back to Canaan with the good news. What a grand trip it was. They had carts loaded with food. They had new clothes and money that Joseph had given them. They had many donkeys loaded with presents for their father. 
and they had Pharaoh's special invitation to come and live in Egypt. He had promised that their families would have food to eat during the rest of the famine. When they got home, their father, Jacob, could not believe the news. His favorite son, Joseph, was alive? Joseph was not dead as he believed all those years? Are you sure? He asked his sons over and over. Are you sure Joseph is alive and you say he is the governor of Egypt? Tell me again. Tell me again. Finally, Jacob and his family set out for Egypt. Jacob, his children, his in-laws, his grandchildren, everybody went. Some rode comfortably in the carts that Pharaoh had provided for them. Jacob's sons rode beside the carts on Pharaoh's plump donkeys. It was a long journey, but they had plenty of food for the trip. Jacob's heart sang the whole way. He was really, truly going to see his son Joseph once again. In Joseph's home, his servants brought him the good news. Your family is almost here, they announced. Hurry, get my chariot ready, Joseph ordered. He drove as fast as his horses could gallop to meet his father. When he got to where he was, Joseph ran to Jacob and hugged him. Together, they cried for joy. Soon after, Joseph took five of his brothers to the palace to meet Pharaoh. What is your occupation? Pharaoh asked them. We are shepherds, the brothers answered. Your brothers may live in Goshen, Pharaoh told Joseph. It is the best of my land, and I will also hire your brothers to take care of my cattle, if they wish. Joseph took his father to meet Pharaoh, too. Then Jacob, the great man of God, blessed Pharaoh, the mighty king of Egypt. After that, Jacob lived with his family in Egypt for 17 years. Then he died. He was 147 years old. Now Joseph's brothers began to worry. Now that their father was dead, what would Joseph do? Would he finally get even with them for the terrible thing they had done? They decided to send Joseph a message. Before our father died, he said he wanted you to forgive us for the evil thing we did to you. You meant to harm me, Joseph replied, but God meant it for good. He made it possible for me to help all of you. How has God made it possible for you to serve your family? You may never be an officer in your country's government. You may never have to save your family from starvation. But you are part of a family. What can you do now to help and show love to the people you live with? What can you do to serve your church family also? Created and produced by Falvo Fowler. This podcast is read by Franita Buddy Fullwood for Gracelink.net. Animation and artwork by Giogo Godoy. Audio is post produced by Faith Toe at Studio El Piso in Singapore. The theme music is by Clayton Kinney. The audio engineer was Maurice Bailey. Going down to the 
the city. A group of children came out of the city and mocked him. Can you guess what they said, boys and girls? That's right, boys and girls. They, they said, go up, the bald head. Go up, the bald head. Elisha turned. Can you guess what he did next, boys and girls? That's right, boys and girls. He looked at the children and cursed them in the name of the Lord. Now out of the woods came two female bears and ate 42 of the children. And Elisha went up to Mount Carmel and from there he returned to Samaria. And that's the end of our children's story today, boys and girls. And I hope you all enjoyed it. But before I go, I want to share the memory verse of this story. The memory verse takes place on 2 Corinthians 5 verse 33. It says, bad behavior corrupts good manners. And boys and girls, like I always say each week, please remember to study your lesson and then you review it towards the end of the week. If you're not able to study it, then Friday evening after your family worship, yes, then you can go ahead and just review your lesson and be ready for today's um, lesson review. Now we have song number four, and song number four will be coming again from the Faithful Brothers. Yes, we heard them before singing, and now we look forward to hearing from them. So again, we're going to hear from Andre Reed, Ricardo Pinnock, Jaqueen Pinnock, and Rajani Pinnock. If you've been walking the same old road for miles and miles If you've been hearing the same old voice tell the same old lies If you're trying to feel the same old holes inside Cause there's a better life, there's a better life You got pain, he's a pain taker If you feel lost, he's a way maker if you need freedom or saving, here's a prison shake and say no, you got chains. He's a chain breaker. We for search for the light of day in the den of night. We found found no souls who are not from the same old fight. We found run for the things we know just ain't right. There's a better life. came down and sang today yes thank you faithful brothers and now we'll have our closing prayer by and the goodbye will be done by 
Kaylee Grant, who also attends the Portmore Seventh-day Adventist Church. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for your Sabbath day. Thank you for your love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. My name is Kaylee Grant. Sabbath school is over. Remember God loves you. Remember God loves you. Remember God loves you. Hi everybody. I hope you have a wonderful day. Well, boys and girls, here we are at the end of our program. Yes, we are at the end of our program. I had a wonderful time again this week, and I look forward to seeing you back with us next Sabbath. Yes, and listen, we want to give thanks to God for always, always providing music, for providing talents around the conference and from various churches from various countries yes we know that you are watching us from your various countries and we appreciate the support we appreciate the prayers that you um, give to us here at the Portmore Seventh Day Adventist Church we would like to pause and take this time to thank God All right, boys and girls, now at this time, we're going to give a big thank you to all who participated in the program. And I especially want to tell the parents a great big thank you for taking the time out of your schedule to uh, record these children and send them in to us. Listen, if you did not do this, we would have no program. But I would also like to tell our viewers thank you because if you weren't watching then hey who would this program be for so let's take some time at this time to tell all of our participants a great big thank you All right, as always, please remember, remember, remember to subscribe to somewhere there. You know where the little button is. Yes, click on it, the subscribe button. And also, don't forget to give us our thumbs up. Thumbs up, yes, just so you can tell us or let us know that you are watching and that we are doing a good job, that you're being blessed and that um, you want to see more of the program because let me tell you again these are some trying times the children are under so much stress our church is not able to operate um, as freely around the world and so we're providing this program for our children yes they need their little programs too right yes okay and don't forget you can also visit our Facebook page Portmore Seventh-day Adventist Facebook page or PSDA on Facebook and we will also upload the video there or the link to the video here on YouTube. All right well I look forward to seeing you next Sabbath. Please please remember to tell someone about Jesus and tell them of his love. Goodbye!